Welcome back to the Buzz on Business. Today we have Ed Gonzalez. Ed Gonzalez is the owner of Pilot Signs and Designs. Ed, tell us about yourself and the business. Sure. Well, I'm married. I have four kids. Okay. I was born and raised in Waynesboro, Pennsylvania. Okay. I went to college at Indiana University of Pennsylvania. Okay. I uh, did my master's at Case Western Reserve. Okay. And I was very fortunate to work 30 years with a great Fortune 100 company named Alcoa. Wow. Okay. I retired a year ago, uh, okay. July of last okay. year. All right. And uh, took some time off uh, mm -hmm. to regenerate, uh, rejuvenate, sorry. And... Um, and then decided that uh, it was time to get real serious about starting my own business. Okay. And so tell us about your business, sure. Pilot Signs and Designs. Yeah, yes, Pilot Signs and Designs. I actually connected with a, uh, a business coach. Okay. Um, and I think the first thing we did, which was very important to my decision-making process, was we actually constructed a model that really looked at a lot of different factors in terms of what I wanted to do, didn't want to do. Mm -hmm. uh, the family obviously was brought into this equation in terms of those decision factors. That model enabled the coach to really go out and find things for me. Um, and the process was okay. one where we just went through kind of a filtering, if you will, mm -hmm. in terms of the business, different businesses that were presented. Okay. And then uh, myself and my wife, um, Again, uh, basically saying yay or nay okay. in regards to those possibilities. So it's a family business then. Your wife yes. committed to it, uh, right? My <laughs> wife is committed to it, you bet. And, okay. Uh, very excited about it, to say the least. So what do you do? What is Pilot Science and Design? What's it all about? What sure. do you guys do? Yeah, Pilot Science and Designs, the first thing is we were very, very involved in the, des in the design aspect. So a lot of people think of a sign business as often the first thing that comes to mind is a sign. Yeah. It's really design and creating whatever is possible with various media mm -hmm. and helping a business, helping an entrepreneur get noticed. Okay. Uh, a great effective way for advertising. Uh, so we can do things like um, custom signs and banners. Mm -hmm. We can do trade show exhibits okay. and graphics. Uh, we wrap vehicles. Okay. We can do lettering, whether it's corporate logo in using the lettering or lettering on the vehicle itself. Okay. And when I mention vehicle wraps, it could, it could be a I was partial. Ask you, what's, what's a vehicle wrap? Yeah, it or? could be a partial where you just have, um, it could be simple lettering okay. or some form of a partial wrap where you're not doing it, you know, you're not covering a full vehicle. Okay. Or a full wrap where it is fully covered okay. with, uh, with very uh, premium cast vinyl material mm -hmm. that if you use the right material will last for a good five or six years. Okay. So what do you see then? I'm kind of curious. With all these different types of media that you were just talking about, what tends to be the most popular right now? Or is there something like the flavor of the day type of uh, promotions? Sure, yeah. T today what's popular, again, obviously is the banners, the banner okay. type of material. Um, you can have very simple um, signs on core plast type of materials. Okay. Um, but again, uh, the technology changes very quickly. Every three or four or five years, Again, you're going to see changes, and so I'm seeing more of the, uh, you know, I'm seeing more of the, uh, uh, the wood and grain type products come back. Okay. Monument signs is going to be coming back in terms of, uh, you okay. know, the application of, of that. Um, but again, with the different technology out there, mm. you just really have to keep your mind open, mm -hmm. and always remember it's what the customer wants, and what media is most effective in helping them meet their business objective or their business case right. uh, with a broad array of, of media that's possible. Okay. Now, one question we didn't, I forgot to ask, where are you located at? Uh, I'm in the uh, 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 Brunswick Industrial Park, okay. uh, 3045 Nation Way Parkway. Okay. Um, it took me a good three or four months to really find the ideal location. Okay. And the Medina County was very, very supportive in really reaching out and helping me uh, find that location. Okay. Uh, the one criteria that was really important for me was finding a location where I had the ability to pull a van or a truck or a boxer uh, mm -hmm. into my own shop so that I could actually close the doors and do the wrapping okay. uh, in light of the, uh, the tough weather challenges that we have in Northeast Ohio. Okay. And so, through all this, you chose Brunswick then. I chose so Brunswick. So, we're lucky to have you. <laughs> well, I'm lucky to be here. Again, the uh -huh. community was very welcoming. Okay. Uh, whether it be the chamber, whether it be the economic development community, okay. folks were just, just, again, very, very helpful 
whether it be, again, finding the right connections in terms of the location um, aspects or just the networking piece in terms of getting to know the community, getting to know the, you know, okay. the entrepreneurs and the business owners in the area. Okay. Uh, now, you've been now, what, about a year now, right into Well, I bought business the business or? in December of okay. last year, but I actually have only been open for about six weeks. Oh, okay. Yes. So you're new and getting out there. Absolutely. So. It's, uh, like I said, it's been very exciting. Yeah. The startup has lots of challenges. We can go on from a large corporation and having the help of a lot of resources within a large company uh -huh. to a very small startup entrepreneurial type environment is indeed different. Um, but again, it allowed me the opportunity to leverage the learnings from the 30 years in being in business, in business yeah. and apply it to a, a small entrepreneurial startup. So That's great. In 20 seconds or less, what, what do you want to leave the audience with? Um, what makes you, why should people come visit you? Yeah, one, I want to be here for the long term. Yeah. Um, the, the type of approach that we take with our customers, it's more collaborative. I ask lots of questions. I listen. Mm -hmm. And I really want to understand what the customer needs. Okay. That collaboration, that problem-solving type of attitude, I think is very critical in terms of fostering and developing trust and building long-term relationships. I believe that will be very helpful in terms of being in business 5, 10, 15 years from now. Absolutely. And that's what I intend to do. Absolutely. Great. Ed, thank you very much. Okay. And we will go on to our next segment on Buzz on Business.